So this is a drama called Don't Contradict Me. Oh, Mary, is that you? Oh, yes, and you are? It's, it's Becky, you remember me. Oh, of course. Oh, and, and Mary, you, you remember Rick? Oh, yeah, Mary. Oh, hi, Rick. How are you? Oh, yeah, doing well. Isn't it great that our old Bible college is having its 10-year reunion? Look, why don't you two catch up and, and I'll go get us some drinks? What would you like, Mary? Um, love a Fanta. Thanks. Rick? Oh, scotch on the rocks. <laughs> uh, I, I mean a, a, a Coke. Yeah, Coke. I, I always mix those two up. Alright, um, well, I'll, I'll be back. Won't be long. Um, so Rick, what have you been up to? Ah, uh, well, uh, I don't like to boast. But Jesus did say in Matthew 5.16 to let your light shine so that others will give praise to God. So I will do some boasting. Well, I mean, didn't Jesus also say your father who sees what you do in secret will reward you? Matthew 6.6. 6. <laughs> well, yes. But after a careful analysis of some particular verses that I found in the Bible, I started a new church founded on the true words of Jesus, where we once, a good, once again understood Jesus' words found in Matthew 12.37, where he says... For by your words will you be justified or condemned, i.e. it's what you say that saves. Well, that's in direct conflict with Jesus' words in Mark 16, 16, where he says, whoever believes and is baptised is saved. Yes, yes, but <laughs> since it's clear from Psalm 55, verse 23, that the wicked will not live out half their days... And since I'm over 50, I must be right. Well, I mean, you're forgetting Job 20, verse 7, where it says, He will perish forever like his own dumb. What? I, I mean, Job 21, not 20, where it says that the wicked live on, growing old, as you are. <laughs> well, uh, we uh, emphasise a certain prosperity in our church because Psalm 100. 12 verse 1 and 2 says the man that fears the Lord wealth and riches will be in his house plus Ecclesiastes 10 19 it says money is the answer to all things come on that flies in the face of 1 Timothy 6 verse 10 money is the root of all kinds of evil well you can believe what you like but Ecclesiastes 11 9 reminds us to follow the ways of our hearts well Numbers 15.39 says, Don't go after the lust of one's heart. <laughs> Judge not, and you will not be judged. Luke 6.37 Well, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. John 7.24 Well, enough about me. What have you been doing? Well, unlike some others, I have built up an army of the Lord based on sound individual verses. In this army, we are fighting for the Lord. And I do mean fighting, because Jesus did say, I have not come to bring peace, but a sword, in Matthew 10, 34. Hang on, Jesus also says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you, in John 14, 27. Well, I think you'll see how wrong you are when you remember Exodus 15, 3, where, John, where it says, the Lord is a man of war. Oh. Oh, but you're forgetting Romans 15.33, where it says God is the God of peace. Touché, but should we obey God or man? Acts 5.29 tells us to submit yourself to the ordinance of God. But 1 Peter 2 verse 13 says, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man. Stop acting so childish. How about, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. But now that I'm a man, I've put childish ways behind me. 1 Corinthians 11. Luke 18, 17. Anyone who, receive, who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will not receive it. Be careful. My group will kill for Christ following Deuteronomy 19, 21. Show no pity. Life for life. Eye for eye. Tooth for tooth. Exodus 20, verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. There, in the Ten Commandments, you can't get better than that. We are determined to be fools for Christ. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 10. Uh, well, a foolish shall not stand in God's sight. Psalm 5 verse 5. Just you wait. 
Each man should bear his own burdens. Galatians 6, 5. Bear one another's burdens. Galatians 6, 2. It is not good for a man to touch a woman. 1 Corinthians 7, verse 1. Marriage is honourable in all things. Hey, you two. You can't do that. You can't take verses out of context like that. What? Don't you remember anything from college? You've got to understand a verse in its context. See what type of writing it is. Understand the historical development happening in the book. Context, eh? Okay. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. Finally. I thought you two were going to go to blows. You're a right pair of idiots, you know. Taking verses out of context like that? <sighs> Becky, Becky. It's all right. I, I think I've worked it out. I, I, I think this verse here should straighten everything out. 1 Timothy 2.12, Paul says, I don't permit a woman to speak in church. They should be silent. Ah, I don't believe it. But, but in 1 Corinthians 11.15, Paul says, Every woman who prays or prophesies, indicating that women were meant to do this. Ah, oh, but 1 Corinthians 14, it says, don't listen to a woman, don't do what she said. Curtain. 